through? No, I didn't think he was that, but I I also thought that he just follows orders from whoever's in charge at the time. I no, I think he's a bit of a maker, not, maker and a breaker. I didn't think he was just a yes man. Um, I got that because he's going to him. Oh, yep, you go do this. Oh, now we're going to rip up all these files, and no one will ever hear about it. That's correct. Well, you're a police officer, but the, I mean, yet he arrested the other police. police. He arrested the other police officer. That's right. He but then he goes, it. "Oh, we're going to rip it up it now." It was in his jurisdiction that he could do. That's what that. I mean. He's a yes man. He, if someone said to him, "This will no longer be available for people to read," he'll go, "Yes, sir." What do you think of the uh, Trump link right at the very end? That was a kick in the balls, wasn't it? It was really interesting. Mm, I, that I, part made me go, mm. It was a very poignant moment at the end, and I imagine it would... It would, would have upset a lot of people. It, um, Americans in particular, I think, would have gone, ooh, ooh, regardless of your politics. I think if you're a Republican, you, well, you probably wouldn't be watching this movie, would you? I think they would. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the Republicans are who they used to be. Hard to tell. It is. It is. I'm, I'm not sure. Mm. I don't know. From what I can... I mean, it's got nominations left, right and centre. Yep. Um, I mean, they've had a lot of very political um, movies coming out, this, you know, in the last year, like Black Klansman but it's the same and problem with here in Australia. Roma and Green Book and... The Liberals, the Liberal people, the Liberals who are the equivalent of the Republicans in America... Um, they are not the same people that they used to be. No. Uh, they have become radicalised to the point where they're shooting people now. Yes. Yes. Oh, yep. Wholesale. Yes, there's many Liberals that are going, what? No, we're jumping ship. Thank you very much. No, I don't think they will. I think they'll I think they'll hold fast. I've heard I, some um, Liberals who have jumped ship. Have they? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't wait to get back to... <laughs> To work. Well, I've got, I work at the Liberal. Anyway, I'm going to stick it to him on Monday. Oh, don't be... <laughs> I just let him know where he's, he, sh- he should be, yeah, yeah, which side he should be on. Yeah. Everyone's, uh, you know, let's all... Yeah, anyway, anyway. I'm getting too far. Um, I wonder if we cut some of this stuff out tonight. Yeah, you might actually have to edit a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Spike Lee was the director. Spike Lee. Now, where have I heard that name before? Um, he's directed many, many actually he's your acted. sort of films. No, I know. And he's but... also acted, yes. He's a he's a director, he's an actor, he he's a professor, so he What's teaches he been in? teaches movie making and directing and stuff. Spike Lee. Oh no, I can't think no, now. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you can't think. That's... No. I know I he does a lot of the political documentary sort of based films. Mm. But I can't think what he's acted in. Oh my gosh! And I know I can see his face right now because I was watching a YouTube thing about what he was doing professor wise. But it's fine. Move on. Oh, ah. Uh, anyway, yes. Yep. So it's okay. he, he sort of. But it, this was his first director's nomination for a film. So yeah. Um. But it was just yeah thought. But I don't know. For me, the film just it wasn't didn't run as smoothly and nicely as what Green Book did. Oh, in comparison to the Green Book, mm-hmm. it wasn't the class act that Green Book is. No, that it's was done much. Of, that was done so much more. It's, it's trying to do the same thing, but it's the little snotty, runny nose brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's got. Oh, I shouldn't say the same message because they're two different films. Yes. Uh, two. Well, it's it's about hatred and it's about you know how uh, but, people treat African Americans in America. In that, well, I mean that's the same thing, yes, but in yes. a sli- done in a different way. In a different, a different way. Yeah. Giving him, uh, both them. based on true stories. Well, I think that hits harder. No, but what I'm saying is both these films have got a similar theme yeah. and based on stories. Well, maybe it's something that happens again and again and again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that they both come out at the same time. It's this interesting yep. thought. Mm. Um, but for, So in regards to the other films we've looked at, um, it's yeah, probably yeah, Green Book for me is still the better film. For By winning best, away. for winning By best film, yeah. Yep. Um, I, I look, I thoroughly enjoyed this, mm-hmm. but not to the near orgasmic levels that I did with Green Book. So, what star rating would you give it? Oh, I think it's a strong seven and a half. Okay, I'd give it a five. Yeah, I thought so, but that's only just because. You I, didn't enjoy it that much. I didn't enjoy and, it that much. And there was not enough to push it over the There was interesting you. ideas and actors and mm-hmm. scenes that I found really enjoyable, yep. but there wasn't enough to 
keep it yeah. rolling there for me. There was a few funny moments in it. It was, and yes, you're right. It wasn't for a comedy. It wasn't that funny, but it also had to deal with a lot of heavy stuff. Oh, I know. I get that. I no. just that's what I mean. It, it didn't quite gel. The two now, genres didn't gel. Am for I me. correct in that uh, the guy who plays the white version? Uh, of the police officer, Ron Stalwart. He is Skylo Ren or whatever his name in Star Wars. Yes. He, he's, Did um, I pick that? Ky- Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah. No, um, Adam Adam Driver. Yeah, no, he's very good. I, he's I very like talented. He did a good job in this. Um, who else did a good job? I quite like the police commissioner. I thought he was inscrutable because mm-hmm. uh, he had me. If Look, if somebody can have me guessing through the film before I pick them in like five minutes, um, they get a bit of a tick in the box for me because I can usually see through their stereotypes pretty quickly. But he kept it very close to the chest and it was good. I and don't it, think he played a massive role enough to have me worrying about him at all. I just assumed he would do what he was told to do and well, he did. Well, I didn't know. My head was going that he'll come out at the end with a cloak and a burning cross himself and he would completely screw over Ron. No, I didn't see that. Anyway. Um, I thought the guys who were playing the Ku Klux Klan were really hardcore enough that it was interesting, but... <laughs> the village idiots. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it, it was yeah, yeah, that was a bit interesting. Full on, but funny, I but scary. I didn't realise how much about the Ku Klux Klan I've actually learnt over <laughs> this over the last couple of years, because, like, you listen to the dollop, they cover it a few times. Mm. And there's a few other, um, you know... Um, the bastards, uh, behind oh the yeah, bastards behind the bastards does, bastards does the that, Klux yeah, Klan as well, sort of thing. He does a couple. He's got a couple of there. Mm. Mm. So you really start to, you know, David Duke. I know who David Duke is. <laughs> yes, I was just, when I when he said the Duke, I'm like, hang on, I know I, that. I've I heard know, of you guys. I know things now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was just yeah an interesting film. So yep. Yep. So seven and a half stars from you. Seven and a half stars from me. Five stars from me for Black would, Klansman. Would you recommend it? Um, I'd recommend Green Book before Black Klansman. You could recommend both of them. Oh, I don't know if I would. Oh, why not? I, I think it's an innocuous enough. I would. Well, I just if people ask me about it, I'd go. Oh, you could watch it. it you know, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'd go. Oh, don't watch it. It's remember, awful. But re- remember, Pip, when you rec- uh, when you recommend films to people, you don't have to sit down <laughs> and watch it a second time. You've just got to remember <laughs> that. Keep that in perspective. I, look, if I had to sit it's, down and watch it again, I would. It wouldn't be a Problem it's for me. There's time. other films where I go, don't watch it. It's awful. I'm never watching this film again. It's this is not t- that sort of film. It's their time you're wasting. I know, but I don't like wasting people's time. <laughs> 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 anyway. All right. Okay. So, well, um, magic movie moment, Paul. Magical movie moment. Okay. So, when we first started doing this, I wanted to get inspirational speeches sort of thing. And I think we've covered them. We've done them pretty well. So I want to spread it out a little bit. And I want to get some more entertaining stuff as well. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in a movie itself. And if I think if there's something that's really good on um, a TV series or something that I can use, I think I might do that as well. I think you can do that. And anything to do with movies is probably, you know, a good thing. Anyway, so... This is a Globe, Golden Globes Award uh, from 1996, and the speech is quite famous, and it's done by Emma Thompson. Oh, yes. Yes. And oh, okay. I'm not going to say very much, but it's for the, um, it's for the film Sense and Sensibility. Yeah. Okay, and I'll just leave it at that. So and did I'll, she win um, Best Actress? Well, who's to say she won? But I assume that she did because she's making a speech. I just assumed yes. she'd won because she's up talking. So I'm going to give you the whole movie experience just to get you in the mood. Just think you're sitting there watching your popcorn, uh, watching the Golden Globes back in 1996, and you'll hear some of the other movies that they mentioned that she's up against. Okay. Okay, and it's for best screen uh, screenplay, I think it is. But does she write screenplays, Emma Thompson? Uh, well, she's representing the, the, the movie because she was the main actress. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe the screenwriter wasn't there. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, well, let's hear it. Okay. I wasn't listening. I just stuck it on because I couldn't I think of ex- Okay, don't worry. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ladies 
The nominees for Best Motion Picture Screenplay are Patrick Sean Duncan, Mr. Holland's Opus. Scott Frank, Get Shorty. Tim Robbins, Dead Man Walking. Aaron Sorkin, The American President. Emma Thompson, Sense and Sensibility. Randall Wallace, Braveheart. And the winner is Emma Thompson, Sense and Sensibility. I can't thank you enough, Hollywood Foreign Press, for honouring me in this capacity. Um, I don't wish to burden you with my debts, uh, which are heavy and numerous, but um, I think that everybody involved in the making of this film knows that we owe all our pride and all our joy to the genius of Jane Austen. And um, it occurred to me to wonder how she would react to an evening like this. (laughs) This is what I came up with. 4 a.m., having just returned from an evening at the Golden Spheres, which, despite the inconveniences of heat, noise, and overcrowding, was not without its pleasures. Thankfully, there were no dogs and no children. The gowns were middling. There was a good deal of shouting and behaviour verging on the profligate. However, people were very free with their compliments, and I made several new acquaintances. (laughs) It was Lindsay Duran of Mirage, wherever that might be, who is largely responsible for my presence here, an enchanting companion about whom too much good cannot be said. Mr. Ang Lee, of foreign extraction, who most unexpectedly appeared to understand me better than I understand myself. (laughs) Mr. James Seamus, a most copiously erudite person, and Miss Kate Winslet, beautiful in both countenance and spirit. Mr. Pat Doyle, a composer and a Scot who displayed the kind of wild behaviour one has learned to expect from that race. (laughs) Mr. Mark Kenton, an energetic person with a ready smile who, as I understand it, owes me a great deal of money. (laughs) True. Miss Lisa Henson of Columbia, a lovely girl, and Mr. Gareth Wigan, a lovely boy. I attempted to converse with Mr. Sidney Pollock, but his charms and wisdom are so generally pleasing that it proved impossible to get within ten feet of him. The room was full of interesting activity until 11pm when it emptied rather suddenly. The lateness of the hour is due therefore not to the dance, but to the waiting in a long line for a horseless carriage of unconscionable size. The modern world has clearly done nothing for transport. P.S. managed to avoid the Whedon, Emily Tompkinson, who has purloined my creation and added things of her own. Nefarious creature. Thank you. There you go. Just try that to... was awesome. Thank you very much. How great was that? It's really good one. That yes. that was great. She did such a marvelous job. What a class act! Wow, and she did the screenplay. Wow, yes. good on her. Because what do you say about screenplays? Yes, well, you know. Um, you know, you know what I mean. When you've got to do an acceptance speech for the screenplay, and you you didn't write it, what do you do when you've got to give the? No, no, she so did. They said Emma Thompson screenplay added her own stuff. Yes, nefarious creature. <laughs> Awesome, I love that. Yes, I thought you'd like it. That's a great way to accept a speech. It is, and I just thought I'd just mix it up a little bit and just broaden out the the original horizons of the movie Magical Moment and say we can just put some... Well, it's funny when they were calling out the nominations and going... Oh, Holland's Opus, that was a good movie. Get Shorty, yeah, that was rubbish. Yes, <laughs> sit, man, you're having a big argument with yourself over there. Um, I just looked at the two movies tonight and I thought, oh, God, these are 